Hear, O Yasharal, the great I am, the great spirit, is the only power for you. The great I am, the great spirit is one. Speak peace on this day of rest. Rise, O Yasharal. Welcome to Word War 3. Our reference today will be Exodus 20, chapter 6, or chapter 20, verse 16. And this message is entitled, Black Codes, or the actor's pretense. Now, before we get started, I would like to remind our visitors that indigenous Hebrew Israelite awakening is not a racist religious group. We just simply live here. Um, Jim Crow laws were created by the far right democratic peoples of the United States, peoples or citizens. Every southern state enacted laws that define the rights of former slaves, Indians, mulatto, and mulattoes included. Today, the past Democrats are now calling themselves Republicans, and the Republicans of the past are now, are now calling themselves Democrats. That sounds kind of confusing, but that's what's happening. Black codes are a combination of caste system restrictions placed upon those called African Americans, blacks, Negroes, or whatever name the United States wants to give um, those they have subjugated. Those declared acts are called positive law titles. And let's look at some of them. The Tennessee Black Code of 1860 pop. 1865, be it enacted by the General Assembly of the state of Tennessee that persons of African and Indian descent are hereby declared competent witnesses in all courts of this state, unquote. The Mississippi Black Code of 1865, quote, freed men, free Negroes and mulattoes are now by law competent witnesses, unquote. The Virginia Black Code of 1866, quote, be it enacted by the General Assembly that the overseers of the poor people, remember that, poor people, or other officers having charge of the poor, officers meaning those slave catchers you call policemen or, or elected officials, Again, or other officers having charge of poor people or the special county police or the police of any corporation. You see, they're, they're getting it to the specifics. Uh, and this is found again in the Virginia Black, uh, Black Code. Uh, here's a uh, the state of South Carolina acts of General Assembly of the state of South Carolina passed at the sessions of 1864 through 65 Columbia 1865 page 291 through 304 and this is the 35th I believe that's what it says all persons of color who make contracts for service or labor shall be known as servants and those with whom they contract shall be known as masters so if you're getting a job as a former slave you're a servant and your boss is a mat is called a master and this is south carolina and let's not think that the northern states were exempt from this because new york had a, a slave code 1702 it has six clauses one in particular, cause three, banning slaves meeting away from slave owners' property in groups of three or more. So whenever they see a group of black people, so-called black people, hanging out, that was illegal in the state of New York. Here's another one. Act for the better regulation of Negroes. And this is Pennsylvania Commonwealth. Pennsylvania Convention 1838, 
Regulation of Negroes, page 363. The white and the free black population was governed by different laws. This is what they're saying. The former, which is the white, were called free men. And the latter, being free Negroes, were considered as an inferior and degraded caste. Again, when black people were freed, they were considered white. You getting this? Now, they were given different laws based upon skin color. But we know here that this is a status. White is a status. No, there's no race called white. There is none. That's a stat. That's a that's a government status placed upon people. Once you become free, here's all these these civil these civil laws that we're reading here. That's what they base their stuff upon. <clears throat> um, let's keep going. The North Carolina Black Code laws in relation to freedmen. 39th Congress, second section, Senate Executive, document number six, Free Man's Affairs, section six, six, be it further enacted that if any of such persons shall fail to go before the clerk of the county court or some justice of peace of the county in which they reside and have their marriage recorded before the 1st of September, 1866, they shall be, be deemed guilty of misdemeanor and punished at the discretion of the court and their failure for each month thereafter shall constitute a separate and distinct offense. So they're even determine what, what black marriage is. Now, here's the kicker. The Black Code of Louisiana or Code Noir, Noir, if that's pronounced correctly, the, the French word for black, of June 7, 1806. Now, i got to remind you that the state of Louisiana is the only state in the United States that has a separate form of legal system. So if you go and you get, you go to the bar in Louisiana and you've mastered all the laws of Louisiana, that's good because you know Louisiana. But as soon as you as soon as you want to go to a different state, you have to go through the bar system again and study all the law of the different state. Now the laws in those different states, the laws in the rest of the 49 states and the territories of the United States, you don't have to re go you don't have to go to the bar again. You can learn what law is in one state and go to another uh, state and practice law somewhere else. You may have to go to the bar again. You may have to, but the laws sort of say are American. It's just something crazy about Louisiana that makes it different because again, they're, they're basing their laws based upon um, the French King Louis believe it's the 14th who decreed a royal legislation legislation in 1685 uh, the king of france made it a law that and again this is primarily that the jews could not own slaves the jews could not own slaves what was happening in the rest of the united states this is fully documented that aaron lopez and many of the jewish people of the beginning of the uh, the colonial empire, which is called America, uh, later to be called the United States, Jewish people were in charge of the slave trafficking. Now, the French monarch is saying Jews cannot own slaves. Now, if these Jews were the original Negro Jew, Hebrew Israelites, or the Ashkenazi German or or Sephardic Jews who uh, 
took on the Jewish religion, it's not clear. That's not clear. But what is what is happening is that the French monarch prohibited that Jews should own slaves. The question is, well, again, who were the true Jews in, in 1685 that he was talking about? Now, does the state of Louisiana itself disregard its 1784 Louisiana Code Noir, which expelled Jews from its colony? A person of note of a person of significance, Judah P. Benjamin, was an open practitioner of Judaism or the Sephardism and uh, Confederate States of uh, Louisiana. He was a third Confederate State Secretary of State, the second Confederate State Secretary of War, and the first Confederate State Attorney General and Senator uh, of Louisiana. Now this guy was an open Jew in Confederate States of America. <laughs> but no Jews are supposed to be owning slaves and all this other stuff. That law is just, I mean, you are open to any question or any statement you wish on that one. <clears throat> During slavery, I might add, I might add. Now, Big Sister Elizabeth Friedman Mumbit had a case called Brom and Bet versus Ashley of 1781, and she gained her freedom based upon a constitutional right to li liberty because she became a freedman. She, she, she wanted to be a freedman. Although she was a slave, they, they made her a freedman which is basically a, a status. That's not the name of her, of her ancestors. It's not the name that, you know, she, that was given to her by her parents or ancestors. That's the status that was given to her by the government system. Freeman. Look her up. You know, these manumissions and disenfranchisement and all these exclusion, exclusion laws in the, the free man states. And again, the United States and its policing authority, which is uh, enforcement based upon slavery, uphold these codified laws, these penal code systems and all these things. They're based upon this stuff. Now you can go back and look into the history of how the code codified laws first began They'll, they'll say the Hambarambi Code, the Code of Ur, uh, in, in the, the, uh, of the, the Land of the Ur and all this other stuff. You can go back to all that history, but we're not talking about a people who make a codified law and subjugate their own people. No, we're talking about the United States law who made a codified law that they can subjugate other different races of people. That's the history that we're trying to figure out here. Or actually, we're pinpointing here. Um, <clears throat> so, and there are several cases like the police or this codified system, they can coerce you to give your DNA, um, stop you on the street and say, hey, you know, swab this or breathe into this tube or whatever so that they can penalize you right then and there. Um, and again, they can, they can lie to you. They don't even have to protect you. This is the type of government or governance that we're living in. And I put these uh, things in the, the box below so that you guys can see that. I'll put these links below so you guys can see this stuff. Um, and again, you know, 
they conducted conducted the 69th Congress, Session 1, Chapter 712, in 1926. This is when it began here in the United States. Now, they already had statutes at large and, you know, codes and all this other stuff, but they wanted to codify it as a permanent system in 1926 is what it says here. It's a House Resolution 10,000 and a public uh, public law number 440. But my final thought on this process is to wait, awaken my people, you Native Americans out there, you First Nation American Indians, you mulattoes, and you Negroes scattered, purposely scattered into the all into the winds of society. I need you guys to wake up. See to the fact that you are damaged in a society that holds a caste system uh, of um, they call it privilege. A caste system that pretends to be good when it's one of the most demonic things that ever existed on the planet. I'm going to end this message right there. Hebrew Israelite out.